Yo, what's up, Internet? It's RJ with Road to Liberty. Check it out. I'm about to uh, run out the door right now, throw my shoes on. Got to be somewhere. But um, I wanted to do a quick little video today just um, touching on something about universal basic income or basic income in general. For those of you not familiar, basic income is basically the notion that the government gives everybody an amount of money. So, I'm just starting to get into this notion, this concept. Um, I didn't know until very recently that apparently it has some libertarian backers or uh, supporters over, over, you know, throughout the course of history and even currently. Um, it sounds very counterintuitive to me from uh, from my Austrian sort of uh, free market background. Um, the notion that you can give everybody, let's say, a thousand dollars right now. And that won't have any effect on pricing um, for, for rent and for, for consumer goods. That just seems counterintuitive to me. So uh, I've been talking to people on Twitter about it. They're saying that there's a case to be made and that um, they forward me some information, some links, some articles, and some books I could even check out that uh, purport to show that providing a universal basic income w would not create inflation or at least it wouldn't create inflation beyond a desirable level. And they're making a case that some inflation is actually good. Um, my understanding of economics is that it's not necessarily good to have inflation. Um, you could, it, prices going up is good for the producer of a good because they're making theoretically more profit if their cost of um, good production stays the same. But for the consumer, it's good when prices go down. So through competition or through um, pressure on the seller of the goods to maintain um, revenue, sacrificing profit, lowering price in order to keep market share is good for the consumer, um, causing there to be an opportunity for someone else to come in and provide a different type of good or a greater good. Um, at a higher price or a lesser price, depending on the situation. So I wanted to just throw this out there to you guys, let you know that that's something I'm starting to, you know, check into and um, just to see if anyone else has done any work researching into this, especially if you're a libertarian or voluntarist or um, anything like that, to whether or not, like, have you looked into universal basic income or basic income in general? Um, some of the... Some of the proponents of it would say that the idea is that a basic income would replace other types of benefit programs. So instead of getting a food, um, you know, like food stamps or SNAP cards, instead of getting that and like, um, like government housing assistance, you would just get a check. But you wouldn't just get a check if you made a certain amount of money, like under the poverty level, or whatever, everybody would get a check. So rich, poor, don't matter what, you're all getting whatever it is, two thousand dollars a month or something. Um, just right off the top of my head, I could see how that would streamline, like a flat tax, like it would streamline the um, the infrastructure or the bureaucracy of uh, welfare. But I don't know. There's probably a downstream effect of that too, considering how many people are probably employed in the different government agencies that um, offer various types of public assistance program. So that's the first thing that comes to mind. Second of all, um, like I said, beyond just the notion of it creating inflation or having a null effect, creating a new zero, there's an argument called the new zero, meaning if everyone has $4,000 more, um, so, but I'm not going into that. My second thing about this is, um, uh, what was I going to say? Shit. My second thing about it is, uh, if you oh, if you do if you do a basic income, you're either printing money, which increases the money supply. Unargu there's no argument for that. Uh, again, could be no argument against that. Or it increases taxes or debt borrowing. But let's just say for the moment that based on the debt that everybody's in, all the countries are in right now for the most part. Um, There'll be pretty much no more borrowing going on. There's no one to lend. Um, so if a country or the world wanted to uh, put in place basic income, 
the money has to come from somewhere. So it's either taxed or it's printed. If it's printed, the deficit gets larger and the notion of paying the debt back to the federal, uh, for the, to the reserve banks or to, to the government themselves or whomever seems less and less believable. So <laughs> why give us all 3000 a month or 2000 a month when you can give us all 10000 a month? If there's no sense in paying back a debt, why not just give us all a million dollars a year? Well, it, if it were possible to give everyone the same amount of money and it would make things better, why not just give everyone a million dollars? Why not just give everyone a million dollars right now? Because logically, or even not logically, people have a sense that's not going to work. So that's the thing. That, so that's kind of my third. Second point is how do we get this money? Where does it come from? And the third point is where's the the real line with this? Like where's the real um, target? Like is a thousand a month the right number? Is five thousand a month the right number? How do we know that giving everyone a thousand a month is the right number? What's the equation for this? Is there a formula? Um, so anybody that is watching this that, that has a really good understanding of basic income, my goal is to sort of do my own research and get to know um, what the proponents of this ideology believe and, and why they you know why they advocate for it. But in the meantime, anybody watching this has a, a pretty good solid working understanding of basic income, please respond to these three issues I, um, I brought up. So um, I'll keep you guys posted. Like I said, this is something I'm getting into. I'm going to try to study and, and become more aware of. Um, I'm not by any means saying that I'm in favor of it. If anything, I'm, I'm quite concerned about the degree of support there is for something like this. And, and my, my inclination is to think that people who are supporting it are using kind of like an ex post facto justification where they have their conclusion and then they find facts that fit their, their narrative. Um, I'd like to give them a little bit more of a benefit of the doubt from an intellectual um, credibility standpoint and say that maybe there's something here that I don't understand. Maybe there's some aspect to uh, UBI, universal basic income, that I am ignorant about. And uh, so that's where I hope you guys can come in as the audience and give me some insights, some links, um, one of those short little teaser YouTube videos that kind of explains it all in two seconds. <laughs> those would be good. Um, I have a lot of books on my reading list, so where this will slot into um, what comes next is uh, is unclear to me at this moment. But uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for any information you can uh, throw my way. Peace.